This video is the first in a series showcasing some of the natural wonders that can be seen beneath the surface of streams and wetlands. In this video, we explore temporary wetlands known as vernal pools. True to their name, vernal pools are wetlands that only hold water for part of the year, usually from fall to summer. This is a critical factor, as it eliminates the ability of fish or larger aquatic predators to colonize the wetland. As a result, many animals use vernal pools to breed, particularly amphibians. January is a bit early for most amphibians, but a few take advantage of the opportunity and can even be considered true winter breeders. Mild winter days followed by showers at dusk trigger the Jefferson salamanders to migrate from their forest burrows to their breeding ponds, often the ones where they grew up themselves as larvae. They are remarkably cold tolerant and will even breed on top of and under ice. Often, the salamanders need to cross roads to get to their breeding ponds, so slow down and watch for them when driving back roads on warm, rainy nights. Once they have arrived to the pond, the salamanders waste no time and get straight to breeding, traversing the pond floor in search of mates. Males often arrive to the ponds before the females and outnumber them. When encountering a female, a male will clasp her with his forelimbs behind hers in an embrace known as amplexus. With so few females to go around, mistakes will be made. Sometimes, potential mates are not so willing. After mating, the female deposits eggs onto leaves, logs, and sticks by clasping the surface with her rear limbs. The embryos are encased in a jelly capsule surrounded by a second layer of jelly which distinguishes them from frog eggs. When breeding so early, the salamanders often have to deal with surprise cold weather. They do so by swimming to the deepest part of the pool and taking shelter in the leaf litter. If the pond freezes over, they can survive for a time by breathing the dissolved oxygen in the water through their skin. But there is a finite amount of oxygen, as no more is being exchanged with the air from the surface, and if the pond is frozen too long, there is a risk of a large die-off of salamanders. This is a risk taken when breeding early, but it is beneficial to the larvae as they have more time to grow larger than other amphibian species that breed later in the year. Another species, the eastern newt, can be found in vernal pools during all months of the year, or at least as long as there is water. They maintain an aquatic lifestyle as adults, and are often voracious predators of amphibian eggs. Marbled salamander larvae are also winter vernal pool residents, and often the only amphibian larvae in the water at this time. Salamanders are not the only animals in the vernal pool. They are teeming with zooplankton, consisting largely of small crustaceans and insect larvae. Here, Daphnia, small crustaceans, and larval midges known as glassworms exhibit positive phototaxis, the phenomenon of being attracted to light, the same as moths drawn to a porch light. All of these invertebrates serve as important food resources for larval amphibians. During mild winters, it is common for fairy shrimp to hatch early. These crustaceans look like and have a similar life cycle to brine shrimp, or sea monkeys. Adults live only a few weeks and lay eggs that are resistant to drying out and can only hatch after a cycle of drying. When the pool dries, the eggs remain in the soil, waiting for rain. When the pool refills, the eggs hatch and begin the life cycle all over again. Stay tuned for more videos on underwater ecosystems.